just puts my hand in the air and says, that's easy for me, boys. Crime. <laughs> Crime. I'm a dirty just trucker. Mate. You, mate, bro. I'm a shocker. Oh. Oh. G'day there legends, make sure you go check out my athlete programs, you do get 20% off if you use the code weekly vlog, all of the links are down in the description of this video, best comment can also win a program, let's get into this video. Good morning ladies and gents, we are here in beautiful Brisbane, as you can see, I think we're like, I don't know, somewhere in the city. We've got an hour drive down to the Gold Coast, versing Labrador today, it should be a very good game. Anything to say? Good morning. Nothing, good morning. Uh, yeah, should be a really good game, really excited. I think we're sixth, they're sitting fourth, so it's a really important game to see where we finish in finals. <laughs> breakfast. Breakfast time. It's our selection of breakfast today. Bit of everything. See what we come out with. Look at what I've got here. We've got some good nutritious um, fruits, watermelon, rock melon, peaches, plums, some muesli, some cocoa pots to finish, finish off with. We've got obviously some toast, potatoes, sausages, bacon, yum. I'm waiting on an omelette that's going to come as well. And of course a lovely juice that Chloe got for me, thanks Chloe. She did all the juicing, everything, crazy. Um, nice little omelette to put on my toast. Bang. That's going to be breakfast. LFG is going to be absolutely delicious. Probably might need some salt. Oh, let's just see. Salt's really good because obviously you lose salt in sweat, sodium, so it's really important to have lots of salt before a game. Also helps you for not cramping. So if you are struggling with cramps, have some more salt in your diet and have some more water. LFG, let's go. Go the Noosa Tigers. Come on. Dominated all my food. LFG. Chloe as well. Whoa. Big eater. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Just smacked out some breakfast. Now we're on our way to drop Chloe off. Got the fresh Rick Sunnies on. How good do I look? Amazing. Yeah, I know. Uh, then we're heading to, yeah, drop Chloe off. Then off to Labrador. As most of you know, this is 193 centimeters. Oh, I oh. just touch it. <laughs> So, as you know, I'm about 193, that'd be what, six foot nine. <laughs> what a beautiful day it is today, ladies and gentlemen. It's stunning outside, as you can see above and beside me, it's blue skies. I'm not holding my camera, obviously, it's just down here on the side. Don't drive with any electronic devices, ladies and gents. Um, yeah, no, it looks like an absolutely beautiful day for footy, sun is shining, a little bit different to the last couple of weeks, so I'm very, very excited to hopefully run out and get the win with my brothers, the Tigers. This is our last game of the season, as, as I said at the start of the video, very exciting for us because we are playing finals after not winning a single game last year, which is an, a massive improvement for the club, so we'll see how we go with that. Hopefully we can bring the energy today and get the win. If we get the win, then we'll probably verse these guys again in the first week of finals. If we get the loss, then we're probably more likely going to be versing Redlands or Aspley, uh, a bit of a higher ranked team. So we want to finish fifth rather than sixth. The finals does work in a little bit of a weird way. So um, I guess you guys are just going to have to follow on for the finals and uh, see where we go. But it's a really, really exciting time for us. And we'll just see how far we can take the Noosa Tigers this year. Um, Goals today, pretty much just to go as hard as I can, run really hard, I've got a job, um, a run with job today, so we'll see how long that lasts um, with someone on the wing, so um, just just more of a kind of one-on-one -on -one matchup, I guess, to see um, who can have more of an impact on the game, so it's really exciting to see how we go there. I've got a lot of respect for the Labrador Football Club. It's funny, I had someone text, do this to Lab like do what I did last week to Labrador, um, they're grubs, they'll get you, and I'll... Honestly, never had uh, a problem with Labrador being grubs or being disrespectful. I think that they are really um, actually respectful club and, and a really, um, you've got a great bunch of blokes that I'm actually quite, quite fond of. So very exciting to see how we go. Like I said, hopefully get the dub, baby. Let's go. Last game of the year. Exciting times. All right. Final game of the season. Let's go uh i am sitting outside at the moment so you might hear a little bit of 
background noise as we go. But ladies and gents, this is the final game of the season. We've got Freeze just running at us here at the end. That's Rocky's warm up, our coach. Like I said, final game of the year, round 21, Labrador versus the Noosa Tigers. The boys give me a bit of stick here for having my shirt off, but that's all right. Don't really give a damn. They always know where the camera is, and uh, so do I. We come out, the twos, uh, unfortunately, got done. But uh, like I said, really important game for us. We're sitting at sixth. The team that we're versing, the Labrador Tigers, are sitting in fourth. So we need to beat them for us to uh, have a really good chance in finals. If we lose, then unfortunately we're going to be versing a higher ranked team. So it is essential that we do get the win. And uh, we, I guess we, we need to use that momentum going into the finals as well. Uh, get the pretty much the first clearance of the game, really. I'm starting on the wing, uh, playing on that Rhett Slaff guy who used to play for the Brisbane Lions. So starting on him and in, in the first probably minute or two, uh, get enough, get get plenty of the ball, especially in the first 10 minutes here. We're, we've got a free kick down the field, so I don't even get the, get the kick in the end, but that's all right. Goes to Freeze and John Freeman goes bang and kicks the first goal of the game within the first minute. And I am very happy with that. I know how important this game is. Um, I, I I find that I get a lot of the ball on the wing, uh, especially this field. It's a really big field. And I know that at the end of the day, it comes down to work rate. So this is all in the first. Um, I think I end up having... I have a lot of it in the first 10 minutes anyway. And that's just because of my work rate. I'm working towards where the ball is. Um, scrubby kick here, we get it back, and then my tackle pressure is really high as well. It's really important on a big ground when there is a lot of space to um, try and keep your tackle pressure up. This kick, it's like I'm just going backwards. I've kicked it to a teammate, but like I want to try, like it, I want to try and do a switch, but we're too slow with it a lot of the time with the switches, so we don't really get anything out of it. Another couple of handballs here, um, so. I want to try and take it more on in the middle. That's what I always say to myself. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm just, it's just a nothing kick. If you kick it backwards, you're just losing ground. Like I wanted to go for a switch, but anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. So again, another few opportunities here. Just get it on the boot, get it forward, because a lot of the time we're trying to handball, handball, handball. I trust our forwards. I know what it's like sometimes playing as forward when, when the boys, when the ball doesn't go in there. So um, you've just got to get it in as much as you possibly can. And again, just as that winger, if you're out the back, then you've got plenty of um, plenty of room usually as well to to be that release handball. And this is another one. We end up going back, back, back for a few things, and then we end up getting it forward. But it's just our ball movement is a little bit slow. We start the we do start the game pretty well. Um, our pressure is quite high. This I thought that could have been holding the ball, but it's all right. Another tackle, but like I said, tackle pressure is away. This guy actually got up and whacked me as well. If you go back and watch, he actually gets up and hits me in the face. I'm like, mate, are you serious? Like, I'm not too happy with that, um, but I've, I've got to come off, which is lucky because I was about to... <laughs> Look at me thinking I'm tough, man. Uh, I was about to hit, so I wasn't too happy. Back on, I was actually very lucky with this one here. So that was all in the first 10 minutes, that first bit, um, to not get caught on the floor. It did come off the opposition there was touch so um and I said it's touch mate don't you dare give it away but like this is just an example like I think that sometimes you know they, they get a goal out of this um we're on out the back but look that's just an unfortunate kind of thing like we yeah I don't know we, we've kicked the first two goals of the game and they start to get a bit of a run back and then they kick five in a row so it's kind of like we don't really know, unfortunately, we, we our team just, and me included, we don't know how to stem the flow. Um, so it finishes 18 to 39 at the end of the first quarter. We do struggle to stem the flow, and it's really, really important to, um, to be able to find that. It could be a word. It could be something that you guys do. If you do play, you know, obviously play AFL, to try and stem the flow, like stop the opposition from kicking uh, a lot of goals in a row you have to be able to go man on man and stop that stop that momentum from happening uh had a few looks here to make sure that the old mate didn't take a hanger on me which was good and again just like not giving first option because sometimes we're just slot like i think it's difficult because we've come up from a division below um and sometimes we i think we drop down to that standard again um, and I think that, like, 
it's really important to have a high standard and not just like everyone has to have a really high standard of each other. And that's kind of the thing where like if you're too if you're too positive then you're not going to you're not going to grow, you're not going to get better. If you're staying too positive, you you're going you're going to miss an opportunity to get better, I think. A nice little flip out handle here. I'm getting a lot of the ball in the back pocket, which is frustrating, but that's kind of your role as a winger to roll back and be that, you know, if it didn't go up here, we wouldn't. they would have just taken an uncontested mark. So I think the role of the winger, obviously, is to get back really far and then get back up as well. And sometimes um, it's difficult because I get caught in two minds whether I want to go back or go forward and, um, as a winger, it's always difficult. Turnover here, really good work by Bussy um, to get it. Handball one two, and didn't really have that much time or space. Probably could have given a handball or something here, but Bussy goes back with a fly, almost takes the mark. Fortunately, doesn't. Attempts keeps it back to Bus. Bus has a shot on goal. So we are moving it forward. We're we're, we're right in the game, you know. It's twenty five to forty two, so we're right there. Um, again, with that winger, just got to slide back. That's that problem with that red slap. He's a very good player. Um, and unfortunately, we just don't have numbers at the fall of the ball. Um, and uh, but it, but that shouldn't have even been an option. Like I should have been closer to him. That's that's on me. I should have been closer to my man. So that wasn't an option at all. Um, but like I said, yeah, still getting you know getting my hands on the ball a lot. But how much impact am I having on the game? Like here, I'm just trying to affect the game by by being physical. And always being vocal as well, as vocal as I possibly can. Um, the more voice that you have with your teammates, whether it's positive or negative or constructive, it's really important to be super vocal. And again, this is another kick where I'm like, I want it to go quick. If I'm switching, I want it to go quick switch and then go, we go. But it's too slow, unfortunately, on the switches. Then we end up coming back out this side and it, it, where our ball movement is is a little bit stagnant, unfortunately. Same with this one. Like, I'm, I, I want to try and go inside. I want to try and hit someone inside. I, I probably could have hit Harry here, number four, but fortunately didn't end up going around the man on the mark and getting an extra 10 metres. But again, like, it's not really impact. If you want to have a big impact on the game, you've got to start biting off those those kicks a little bit more. Clearances can, can be impactful. Um, end up getting a two for one here because they kick it out of bounds on the full. So we get to go two for one. And with these out of bounds on the full as well, make sure you run out as far as you possibly can because they have to stand on the um, the boundary line. So if you run out, you'll easily get an extra like 10 meters onto your kick and no one will be anywhere near you because like I said, they just have to stand on the mark. And again, a hallmark of my game was trying to be really pressure and physical. Like I think that I play my best football when I'm, pressuring the opposition and physical with them as well. Again, on that wing, I'm working really hard up and back. You can see I'm, I'm one end of the ground to the other end of the ground. And unfortunately, the, yeah, unfortunately, Labrador kick a goal at the end of the second quarter. Um, and I'm frustrated, but I'm, I'm not that frustrated. I'm still trying to get the boys up and about and be, be, be positive and, um, even though I'm contradicting myself because I did before just say too much positivity can be cancerous. You have to have some sort of constructive criticism towards your teammates, um, whether that's backwards and forwards. You can't just have um, a one-way street of always being negative or always being positive. At halftime, uh, it's 5-1-31-2-9-6-60. Labrador have definitely got it over us so far and... Uh, probably the stronger team look we've got a few players out as well so do they man like that's no excuse for no excuse for anything but yeah we do have a few players out um this game into the midfield for the second half or the or the start of the second quarter again trying to be um trying to pressure as much as i as much as i can we get it out here goes out of bounds end up throwing the ball at the runner accidentally didn't mean to do that sorry mate um yeah anyway so yeah like i said starting in the um in the midfield just trying to have some sort of an effect on the game um but i don't know it's difficult it's difficult sometimes with with that get a handball here wanted to keep going on with it give it off to to willie o'dwyer 
that's that red slaff bloke that was probably not too happy with me, probably wanted to give me one. But that's all right. We end up getting it forward. Um, and then I'm playing deep forward for the rest of the second quarter. So <laughs> try to take a hanger, me and Wilson both. Anyway, can't do that. But yeah, into the um, into the forward line for the for the second kind of the second half of the, or maybe three quarters for most of the quarter. Um, got one two here from C Mac, getting it inside. But yeah, I was kind of playing that high half forward and deep forward role. You can still get get the ball here, um, get it into Willow kicks a goal so starting to have more of an impact on the game through a score involvement which is really important look every play and every handball every possession every tap is really important willow kicks a goal here but if you can have a score involvement game the more times that you're involved in a scoring chain that means you're having more of an impact on the game so i was getting a fair bit of stick here from the labrador crowd bloody hell they were at at the start of this vlog i said that the Labrador crowd, I've never had, like, I didn't think that they were grubs or disrespectful. Grubs is still a bit of a um, condescending word, I think. I, I wouldn't say grubs, but definitely were giving me a lot of stick on the fence. That's all right. Henderson here drops a mark and thought I could be a legend and kick a banana and no, miss everything. Then I started to get pretty frustrated. I get the ball in here. Should have marked it. Drop it. Three on one and they end up getting it out. Now I'm really starting to get frustrated. I'm like, oh. But I, I was having a... I think I was having a big impact on the game on the wing. And then when I went into the forward line, I just didn't feel like I was having any impact on the game. I felt like I was useless. I was just not involved in anything and I couldn't... I just couldn't impact the game. Third, uh, three-quarter time, 74 to Labrador, 47 to us. They've run away with it a little bit, um, but they're best, definitely on top of us here. But we're not out of it um, at all. So still trying to impact the game back onto the wing. I, I asked the coach to if I could go back onto the wing. and um, It was difficult because, yeah... Anyway, I just didn't feel like I was having any of the impact on in the forward line, and that's okay if you don't feel like you're playing well somewhere. Ask your coach if you can play somewhere else, and they might say yes, they might say no, but you'll never actually know if you don't ask. So, um, always a good thing to ask. This is just a terrible handball. It just gets smothered. Like that's just terrible. Anyway, we're working here, and this is a really good example of getting forward when you're on the wing. You got to get back, and you got to get forward. I'm, I'm at two different ends of the ground. All the time, Willow kicks it over um, my defender's head and I end up getting the mark. I probably could have handled it over to freeze here, maybe. Like I said, that ground's massive. There's so much space in it. You you definitely clock up some Ks um, running forwards and backs uh, backwards on that um, on that ground. Always you're going to run around for a snap. Always feel more comfortable doing a snap from here for sure. Run around. Jeez, it was almost touched to be honest, but... And it almost missed as well, but he went through. Luckily, any time goal scorer, always, um, always a good bet to put on me if you're a betting man. Uh, scores 83 to 54. So we're starting to come a little bit. We're starting to have a little bit more of an impact. Um, it kind of personally, I'm having a bit more of an impact, but then also I feel like we're kind of slowly, the momentum's slowly getting in our favour. Get a good clearance here. Bussy with a great underground handball. Temps straight out to me. Left foot. Jai fits. I know he's running at it. He takes a really good mark here. Grabs it and he's going to go back for the set shot. I am pretty gassed as well by this stage. Like very tired. We're also one down on the bench. Um, so I didn't get that much time off the ground. Fitz goes back and kicks the goal. Brings it back to 62-83. And then Labrador go down the other end and kick a goal. So it ended up being 89, hence the latest scoreboard. This is a good example, again, of just working. Like, I start back flank. I'm still running, following the play, following the play. And then you end up getting rewarded with a possession. Get it inside 50 to Willow. So, like, that's just a good example of the ball. Just It comes to you if you work really hard. I, I accidentally socket it there. I didn't mean to put it out of bounds, obviously. Um, they almost called it deliberate. Gee whiz, I, would have, I wouldn't have been too happy if they did. 
But yeah, we're just working through here um, towards the end of the game. Again, not a great handball, but it's all right. Siren goes. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, the lads don't get the chockies, which is uh, which is no good. That uh, we, I had a bloody fantastic amount of people there. It was incredible how many people came and were very supportive of of Prime. Um, and like when I say Prime, I don't just mean myself. I mean the whole, you know, the whole thing. So yeah, it's really really appreciative. Um, I was really appreciative of of everyone that came. It was absolutely magnificent. I was just meeting everyone, shaking their hands, and it was great to meet them all. We we had to go for a little team address out in the field. As it ended, 72 to Noosa, 11-6, 72-14, to 12-96. Labrador did get the better of us. Finished with a lot of the ball, but was my impact huge? I, I don't think so. I think it could have been larger. Finished with 37 and a goal, but we lost, so it doesn't really matter. We finished the season on nine wins, eight losses, and one draw. That puts us into sixth position. We will be versing Redlands next week. So um, it's it's been a fantastic year so far, considering we went from zero, pretty much, uh, wins last year to now officially um, playing finals, which is great. And like I said, it's great to see everyone out there. Um, really, really appreciative of everyone coming out and, and watching the game. In the end, Broad Beach finished the season um, undefeated. They finished first, Aspley second, Redlands third, and then uh, fourth, Labrador fifth, Palm Beach, and sixth, the Noosa Tigers. So like I said, great to see everyone there. Thank you so much for coming out. Make sure you make the effort to come out this week to our first final. It's elimination final against Redland Victoria Point. Last time was a banger versus them. Can't wait to see you this weekend. Let's go.